All right, we're about to play a prank on Heidi. I just got done with the Don't Be Sour podcast with Max and Joe. And Joe has been trying to convince me, and I've been biting the bait a little bit, if I'm being honest, trying to convince me to get into a Ford Raptor R, right? And he has a Ford Raptor R. He's trying to get the 2024 one. He has a 2023. He's, he was like, how about you take the truck? How about you drive it? See how you like it, right? Go pick up Heidi, meet him at the gym. So I'm gonna go get a workout with Max and Joe. Got the Raptor R here. And I'm gonna let Heidi think that I actually ordered it and just went through with the whole purchase and everything. So we've been talking about it. She said, I'm so proud of you. We're not spending anything. And so I'm gonna make let her think that I just did it, right? And we got this, this, this guy sitting here in the uh, driveway and see if she is like super happy. She said, oh, cool. Or she's like, hey, I thought, I thought you said you, you know, let's see your reaction. <laughs> Can you say Raptor? Can you say Raptor? <laughs> I need to show you something. I need to show you something. Come upstairs. What? Oh no, what'd you do? <laughs> no, babe, what'd you do? Yeah, you on, got babe. a dog, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> I didn't get a dog. What? You weren't going to get one anymore? Huh? Where's my car? Where'd my car go? No, do you like it? I love it. Yeah? I do. Wait, I thought you said you didn't get it. Do you like it's it though? Nice. Do you like the satin black? It's already just how I like it. Yeah. I yeah? think you didn't have it anymore. Way better than a dog. <laughs> Look at, look at your job right now. Oh, wow. Wait, you love it? Oh, yeah. So you don't care? No. Why no? do I care? Huh? Why do I care? I don't know. Wait, you spent our money? <laughs> <laughs> it's my money too now, right? Yeah, it is. Babe, I love it. This is nice. You deserve it. You're a, you're a hardworking king. If it's Joe's truck. He was like, take it, just drive it, test it out. So he's like, go pick up Heidi. Go, go. So we're going to go to the gym, meet okay, him up. Okay, clickbait. Uh, <laughs> we're back in 2017. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, brought, I brought something home. No, babe. It's nice. I'm happy you don't care if I do get one. No, babe, you do you. You work hard. You deserve a truck, but I still like my car better. I have them vote my car this truck. If I had to pick one? Yeah. Your, your car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Damn. You should pay attention to this ride and see if you consider this worth it. Okay. Let's go. Not a bad ride. Well, you like it? No, I, I, I do like it. Just take it. It's yours. Dude. It's mine? The only difference would be the heads up display. In five seconds, I downloaded The Legend of Zelda Game Boy ROM. What? Hold on, dude. Check this out. Ready? Hold on. Main menu. Oh, here we go. That's wild. That's crazy. Look at that, dude. <laughs> this is so sick. I'm going to Game Boy out of business, bro. Oh, yeah. This has got to be illegal. Yeah. This can't be real. Dude, what, what a wild turn of events oh. of Joe, like, really being into the gym. I'm not really into the gym. He's not really into the gym. What? You would say he's, he's always been equally no. as into the gym. No, I don't worry no, about no, 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 because now he, like, likes, go, he makes sure he works out with me, like, four or five times a week. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like, protein we were, after the gym. Well, when we were at the podcast and he was like, take my car, like, you're not going to go. He was like, you were calling me out of it, like, oh, like, you're not going to show up. Yeah, like, when right. am I not the one to show up to no, the no, fucking no, no. gym? Don't go to the gym. I just figured, like, you're going to, like, I'm like, Joe's pushing me to I think, be on the time to the gym. 
I think when you've seen a godlike physique like Christian of mine's, and then you see what you look like, you I'm go. Just wither away now. There's all the games I got it. Joe's off of testosterone. Out of my body right now. Joe's eight months fresh off testosterone. Yeah. You went cold turkey? I haven't got a shot in 10 days. Dude. How are you feeling? Like dog shit. That was dog good. shit, 10 days, no shot. I got scared, bro. Everyone's like. Bro, I'm sore too. Damn. Everyone got in my head and was like, you're not gonna have a kid. And now I'm like, fuck. No, you got HCG and FSH. Yeah, that's what someone else told me. That's then, what I'm on now. Bro, just ado adopt a kid. I was talking to David about it. David's like, there's a lot of other problems with HCG, though. I don't know what really? Are. That's what he said. Fuck. <laughs> hey, Chris, why do you think the world has gotten like more open about steroids? T being like, you know what? I actually am on steroids. When like back in the day, like for example, like someone like maybe like Steve Cook, who like for the longest time would never ever mention that, but now he's like openly said like, yeah, used to be Short on. Short answer: the Trend Twins. The Trend Twins. Yes. What kind of name is the Trend <laughs> Twins? They're two twin brothers that are on Trend. The Trend oh, Twins. Oh, that name does make sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I got normalized, pretty much. What kind of longevity play is the Trend Twins? <sighs> That's the question right there. What are their real names? Mike Trenton and, <laughs> and <laughs> honestly, I just call I, I always say the trend twins. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's their thing. Yeah. You know, if I, you would go back, would you like nickname yourself? You were the, no, you were the deadlift bra. I still am the deadlift bra. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, 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 no. I, you know what I like to say? I like to say LeBron James is better point for point than Michael J Jordan, right? Okay, that's fine. But, but he'll never be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. People can deadlift more than me. Yeah, that's great. But no one will ever be the deadlift bra. <laughs> like before my surgery, uh -huh. when I was still lifting, like just not powerlifting, but still lifting heavy. I was thinking on the way over here, I was gonna ask you if, you, if, you, if you're serious about it, but only if you're serious about it. Then I would ask you to like be my training partner, but only if you wanted to get bigger. I would be and down gain size. But you're, like, but like serious training. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but but when I was lifting with Joe and stuff, like even on the incline, like I was still hitting like 80, 85s for sets of 12, which is the same That's strength good. I would be doing when I was like super jacked. So I'm like, I'm still the same strength, but relative. I, I, you can definitely, I think if we work out, we can definitely peak, get you the biggest you've ever been. I don't, yeah, but I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna be like, eat fucking 3,500 calories a day or. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not. <laughs> 225? But like leaves you 25, not like fast. Joe, you just started working out you just eight got months ago. <laughs> hey, eight, you started eight, working eight, out eight months ago, started TRT, and he's like, <laughs> eight months I want to eat 225 shredded. I actually don't think, besides the ego aspect of it, what benefit does a barbell have over dumbbells? Dumbbells, your stabilizer. Really not. I mean, I think dumbbell is actually a superior movement. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think of like what, because you, you know it's, it's been recently you're not shown. balancing, you're not stabilizing. Incline instead of like over flat. You know how people used to do incline flat decline. Yeah. Right. I used to do decline it, barbell all the time. Now it's shown like scientifically if you ju if you incline it'll have the exact same. It's just like superior over flat and everything else. It hits all of it. it all, you know. Oh yeah, I would, I would yeah I would understand yeah. that. Like never you don't ever need to choose a flat over a incline. Show you guys how it sets done real quick. Yeah, it's like a bunch of two by two squares. <clears throat> Christian's first set is just sweating. <laughs> Look at this bicep vein, bro. <sighs> Damn. Have those been there before? Uh, 14 more. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna do a five by five. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie. Even at the peak of my strength, I think for 225, I think I've probably done three reps on incline. The match really fell off. I think you would grow more if you like went a little slower in your negatives. What? You think that's the? I think that's why. One weird trick to grow muscle. <laughs> I would say. I think I was gonna do a, a quarter. I would say a ten and a five. Was if this barbell real. once red? Yes. No, I'm here. No, no way. it might have been. I said pink one, I think. Throw the fucking quarter on there. All right, Joe. I'm sure you think I am, dude. Uh, my thing is your form. I just don't know if your form with this. Watch my form and tell me. Okay. All right, I'll show the fuck up. Give me that 
Are you gonna lift off for him? I'll lift off. I need, I need a, do I need a fridge. I, I despise. The I think bottom. Joe's I underestimating how hard the incline barbell bench is. Christian, don't you have like a fridge with waters oh, over there? I don't do. I don't do the lift off, dude. Okay. I hate the lift off. If you drop the fucking, you barbell. hate lift offs. <laughs> nah, I'm not a bitch, dude. Oh, you got everything yeah. over here, bro. Yeah, dildos, condoms. Yeah, yep. Nice. Breathe. One more, come on, big breath. Fuck, not bad, bro. Shit. I didn't think you were going to do that. What do guys have? Eggs, sperm, sperm. What if I freeze some of my sperm? Enough to make three beautiful children and then just juice up. Yeah, you just, yeah. But TRT, but like high dose. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not, not just enough to regulate my levels. Like, like. TRT, but high dose, yeah. <laughs> You want 15 again? I, would love I don't it. know if I could do 15 again. Can you feel? Really can you feel the TRT? Like, can you like, yeah, like I when like you started, it. were you like, I can feel a difference? Like, no. Does, no. does weight start like getting easier? No. No. But you get start getting stronger. Yeah. I noticed my recovery time is faster. Recovery. Energy. Recovery is faster, and your overall. What like, do you mean? Like, you're just not sore as quick? Yeah. Oh, I'm sore as fuck. Well, that's because you got off. Because you're I mean, a bitch. I noticed it when I was on it. I didn't get no, I'm still on. I'm prescribed 200 milligrams. Is that a lot? No, that's like that, that, that's like a good TRT amount. Yeah. I was but he kept me on that and then gave me an like a estrogen thing. Okay. And then I was the, the kids, you were at 250. Yeah. Oh. The kids that are blasting like a lot of TRT. What would that be like 400? Yeah. I uh, no, bro. There's people that go way higher than that. What a gram. Uh, <laughs> ready? We'll lift. I can't, I can't. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> One time Christian did 315 for nine. nine reps and then he did 225 for like 20. There. That's when I met you. Oh yeah. I tried 315 Remember, and I failed. I made the video he made me put a fucking counter on the bar that went up and down with the bar. It took me like three hours. Yeah, those were some of the shittiest promos you've ever made. <laughs> Is that 15? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, that's... <sighs> I think that was like 12, 13. Have I ever punched anybody? No. You've never gotten punched either. No. Have I been punched? Why don't we? Do, no, I've only. Why don't been we both slapped. punch each other at the same time? <laughs> as hard as you can. I feel like a lot of damage to your knuckles. Like, oh yeah, bro. Whenever I watch movies after that, I was like, people would be like, when yeah. people are just like pounding on their face and your, they get up, your I was hands like, hands would be done. Oh yeah, they'd be demolished. Bro, imagine like movies like Fast and Furious when The Rock is like they're slamming them through glass, bro, and they're just getting up and they're still going. I was the like, The Rock right now. Looks fucking yoked. Like he's always looked yoked. No, but right now he's been dieting and shit for WWE. Oh. He's like big and lean right now. He's natty, right? It's crazy. Like that's hope. That's hope that you can still get big. Like, you can peak at like 50. How old is he? 49, 50. Well, late 45. Look at him. Yeah, like that's whatever he his age is. That means you can get. So it turns out if you have be that old and still progress. Tons and tons of money. How old is he? A lot. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Lots of doctors and a whole bunch of drugs. You can. Yeah. You get fucking Bro, yoked. Look at Stallone's like 74, he's fucking jacked. I think he's like 76 or something. Yeah, uh, Stallone? You know, it's all picture. One. Damn. I feel Stallone looks way better than Arnold right now. All right, what is that, three? Ooh, seven. You won't get 10. Eight. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. If you would have told me that like 30 seconds earlier, I would have got it. Damn, look at my arm. Look. You guys need this tank top. So dope. You can see the seam here on the front. The cap sleeve with this top stitch so it doesn't roll. It keeps its shape over time. You can get yours at alphalace.com. I recommend sizing down. I'm wearing a size large. I normally wear extra large on my tops. So yeah, link in the description, code Guzman, saves you 10%. Keep the workout going. Yeah. YouTube indeed. That's how you do it, bro. You're a YouTuber. Oh, you you bought a gun? No, I, uh, my business partner at Brown got me an AK-47. What? It's fucking like YouTube crazy ass gun. Just straight to an AK, not like a- Yeah, we got an AK. Wait, what? What? Yeah. We got an AK-47. I did. 
Why not? That's not an AK. It's an AR. I mean, AR-15, sorry. Okay, big difference. Yeah, I know. No, they're not. They're, they, they're... AK is like Taliban shit, dude. Yeah, AR-15. <laughs> what is it? We're going to have a shooting day, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I bought one. You have one, too? I have a, a, a Glock pistol. Oh, what? Yeah. That's what we need, babe. We need a Glock. I need to get, I need to get another one for Taylor. Arm of light rifle. It's a company that came up with this. That's way that's off. The, that's what AR stands for? It was on the briefcase. Samsonite. <clears throat> AK is like terrorist gun. I know, sorry. Honestly, AK are badass. I was just surprised y'all had them. But... No, no, we don't. Did you already go, Joe? We, you don't, you, we don't have any. Have you gone one time? AR-15. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Uh, buttholes, checking balls for testicular cancer. Yeah, we did talk about that. The craziest thing just happened. There's an old employee that used to work here at Alphaland that uh, was from Atlanta, and so maybe four or five months ago, he moved back home to Atlanta. And before moving, he was like, hey, Christian, before I move, uh, I've got these Pokemon cards that, uh, you know, I know you're into it. I know you're like starting to collect the vintage ones again. And so, uh, you know, I wanna, anyway, he came back to Houston today. We didn't get a chance to link up then. He came back and he texted me like, and look what he brought me. We got Nitto King, Poliwhirl, Snorlax, Alakazam, Electrode, Gyarados, and a Mewtwo. That's wild. We literally just like chatted for like some time. He's working on uh, starting a gym in Atlanta. And so uh, I kind of asked him, I was like, I need to pay you for these. And he was like, no, no, no. And it was, it, that was, it's so cool. And um, thank you, Sam. I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot. I'm gonna add these to my, this, this is like, out of all the cards, like the vintage holographics that I have, this will compile a pretty good chunk <laughs> of like the, the cards. So these are some very monumental pieces to the collection. So thank you so, so much. If you guys are unaware, I am on a, a quest to collect the original 151 Pokemon cards. Um, they're not, they don't have to be graded and all that yet. We're just trying to get our hands on them. But my rule is I'm not buying any of the cards online. I have to find them in person. So whether that be like trading with people or like going to stores or whatever that is, I need to buy them in person or collect them in person. That's my rule. So now I can add these beautiful seven cards to my collection. So if anyone wants to trade it, Summer Shredding. Damn. Summer shredding Pokemon trading, let's go! <laughs> I'll have a booth. We can and, no. and we can have a Yu-Gi-Oh no. booth also, so we can like do some dueling, no. some Yu-Gi-Oh, then some Pokemon trading. It'll be just like my childhood. Oh my God. That'll be great. But uh, yeah, really cool. Really appreciate you, Sam. It's a dope appreciation thing. Good luck on opening your gym. You got a supporter. I'm gonna wrap the video up now. Thank y'all so much for watching. Joe Max and I had a pretty good chest tricep workout. Um, and a good podcast today, which you can go check out on Monday uh, coming up here. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you in the next one.